And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the West up against Tony the Terran, the Blue Terran in the South. He's great, uh, but he does not want me to have good uh, good luck. He, he just wants me to have fun. So I'm a little bummed. So I hope I take him out in revenge. I hope I slaughter many, many men in revenge for him not wishing me good luck. The map is Lost Temple. I am completely unfamiliar with this map. Um, I've probably broadcasted a couple games with it, but I I'm not too familiar with it at all. Uh, it's not a, a map that I know well. Um, it's just uh, not something I've practiced. Uh, so we are seeing this pretty much the same build for me. I'm getting a little better at it, you know. Uh, that refinery is going down in time for me to get enough gas to get something out early, uh, an add-on. Meanwhile, uh, Tony the Terran is going for a double racks early and as well as a double uh, refinery. So we might be seeing some reapers early on. Uh, that's uh, my best guess. I have no idea what's happened in this game. It was played about three weeks ago. And here comes my scout. So I see those two uh, barracks uh, stay out of the mineral line. Uh, Marine goes up, so I get uh, the hell out of there. I GTFO like there's nobody's business. That made sense. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the block off here because he did go for the early push. It looks like with those two barracks up early. And looks like I was right, because four racks are up now. I keep an SCV on the watchtower, just to make sure um, that I keep an eye on it for when he does go for that push. My second barracks is going up, as well as a refiner, uh, engineering bay, um, researching stim pack. Orbital command is up. Uh, he is not going for the orbital command, nor is he going for SCVs. Uh, looks like he's saving all his money. Uh, looks like, yeah, just uh, 25 minerals, so he is going uh, heavy on... What is he getting? Reapers. He's got uh, just two producing now. Uh, he is getting the upgrade uh, nitro packs. This was uh, patch 1.1, so you do not need a factory to get that upgrade. I don't see it as uh, that big of a deal, though. Um, the, you know, yeah, Reapers will be a little f slower, but, you know, they're still Reapers. Th the whole point was that they could jump on cliffs. <laughs> Doesn't really, uh, but... Uh, it is fun to use the Reapers when they do have the movement speed uh, to just run around the base, having Marines chase them. And there go uh, supply depots around the map, because like I said, I am completely unfamiliar with it. Uh, I do know he is there, so I want to keep an eye, uh, get some early detection. And there he gets a scan down, um, once again, right on the command center. That is not where you want to scan. You want to scan out here. This will, I mean, look what this will tell you. This will tell you that I am ready for your Reapers. You know, the factory going down, um, upgrades going down, uh, none of the um, research, I guess you would call it, is going down. But here come the Reapers. That is a lot of Reapers. It's like nine. Are there ten? Did I miss one? There are eleven, actually. I missed two. So he takes out my entire SC line pretty much before I'm able to get them out and Reapers running around the map doesn't look like they have their speed upgrade oh they do have the move speed upgrade finished um, but I stick with my uh, guys right there um, while he sends the Reapers back into the base looks like he went all in no he does have a few Marauders out um, for a counterattack. Uh, meanwhile, the Reapers are just... Uh, oh, where did they go? Did I destroy them? What happened to... Here we go. Yes, uh... You don't go up to the same spot twice. <laughs> uh, I take out all but one uh, lonely Reaper uh, who's trying to figure out what the hell happened out there. 
Um, so I do keep my guys there in case he continues to pump out the Reapers. It uh, doesn't look like he's going to be doing that. He has, uh, looks like he's getting a factory, so it looks like he's going to be switching to mech or possibly uh, just, uh, no, he's going, uh, sticking with it. Uh, he is pretty heavily invested with those four barracks into the build, so he is going to keep pumping out Marauders. Um, he's keeping the uh, Reapers up there in case I go for the expansion here. So many intricacies into this map. Uh, that can be exploited or used uh, to your advantage uh, whenever you get the chance. His it, uh, expansion is going down, that's probably why he has his reapers there, uh, in case I get my expansion, uh, but I do not, uh, because he destroyed most of my SCVs. Um, I'm still way behind in uh, the minerals, uh, but I did catch up on gas because we both have just the two gas up. Um, but, oh, there I do catch up a little bit, but no, uh, the meals uh, kind of make the numbers jump around for the minerals. Um, so he's heavy on marauders here. Uh, no upgrades on them. It doesn't look like he's going to be getting any of them. Um, and medevacs are up for me. And here we do see the switch. He's going to go to towards us. Uh, air here with uh, four star ports going up and there goes his transfer uh, his uh, second command center is up getting as many SUVs as he can the orbital command uh, oh wow look at this okay this is something that a lot of players do early on as well I mean look how many SUVs are on his expansion now and now there's nothing left on uh, his main there was really no need for the transfer really um, he still he wasn't fully saturated on the main I usually send three or four and then replace them he's actually going to completely ignore his main base in terms of mining now and he's going to be sending all SUVs to the expansion from now on. I'm going for a tricky ninja expansion here because I know that he's probably expecting me to go here uh, but I instead am going for a different starting positions uh, expansion here. And there goes a couple medevacs and he is completely unprepared for this. All he's got are uh, marauders and, uh, and a couple reapers left over. Uh, just a quick medevac drop, gonna see what kind of damage I can do, and going towards the SCVs, and uh, I can see here, oh, they are probably uh, have transferred, so I assume there's an expansion, here come the Marauders, Stim goes down, and even though he had more Marauders than me, um, I was able to do quite a bit of damage, uh, everybody back in the medevacs, uh, Marauders can attack air, so that was a great move by me. That's something that we haven't seen from me, at least uh, in the replays, is a medevac drop and medevac evac. Uh, I do believe that's why they're called medevacs. Because they evac. Okay, I'm done. And uh, so he's maxed out, and he's actually going to get more SCVs at his main base than he was before I went uh, with the harass. So I'm not sure if that worked out too well for me, because he did notice, oh, I'm not uh, doing very well on this uh, on these minerals here anymore. Um, but we're uh, just about even on minerals now. Um, because I do have that second base up, and I didn't set a good rally point. Awesome. And Reaper is going up, checking out what's going on. He has to assume I have an expansion, so he's going around finding where that is. He found it and ran away. <laughs> um, most likely these are, yes, um, he set a few rally points for him, so he's just going all the way around the map. Uh, so even though uh, he, they ran right by uh, my orbital command, he was not paying attention. So when those get back to his base, he might go, hey, what's that red dot up here? Oh, he's got a base there, and I ran right by it. Instead, he scans the same spot. All I can see is uh, these are these two um, barracks and uh, that starport, but he does have banshees, and I assume they're cloaked. Or they do have cloak. 
do they? No, they don't. So he went in for the Banshee Harass and no cloak available. Uh, that's not something that I'm used to seeing. Usually you get that. The whole point is that they are, can be invisible. Uh, still five Banshees left. Uh, gonna do some harassment here uh, to finally send in uh, the rest of my army. And that's why I keep Marauders here. That, I mean, even though Marauders can't do damage, look how much damage they're absorbing from these Banshees. But unfortunately, I just don't have enough right now to deal with enough Marines to deal with this. Uh, so I'm getting uh, Vikings down. Uh, but here come mass Banshees. Ugh, pathetic. Losing to a harassing class. And some Vikings going down for good measure. So I am forced to GG here after early harassment. I was able to get some harassment on my own, but not enough damage because most of his SCVs had transferred. Uh, I still have the second base here, but it was not used well. Uh, so, kind of a quick game for me. Um, I can't believe I lost to Banshees. Ugh, so annoying. Uh, so many medevacs. Uh, once again, I was too heavy on Marauders. Um, need more... Um, need more marines. If I had uh, continued the attack, who would have known if I didn't pull out? Um, I might have been able to take out those five marauders there and done some heavy damage because that was all he had left uh, when I did do that attack. So um, maybe that evac was not uh, intentional, um, or at least for the best in this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.